Awesome. I hadn't seen anything like this. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been making glass now for 25 years. Fabulous. And how did you get started in this? I'm um, first in college and it's been an evolution to this over the last 25 years now. Okay. And then how do you blend all the colors and you start with the glass? Can yeah, you it just... all starts as crystal clear glass. I'm adding all the colored glass to the clear glass and manipulating the colors to get the different uh, designs. And then I sculpt the glass into pretty much whatever I want as it turns from a liquid into a solid. Okay, great. A lot of turtles. And what's been your hardest one to accomplish, would you say? Um, they're all pretty difficult. These are my newest uh, sculptures, so I'd say these are probably the most difficult right now. It's difficult. Very good. I love how you got the waves and action showing it in motion here. Very good. And so how do you get started with it? You just take glass and heat it up and then... Everything starts as a pool of molten hot clear glass. At what temperature? 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. And I'm adding, uh, like I said, the colored glass to it and uh, sculpting it into whatever I want. Fabulous. And your studio's right here in Tampa? No, it isn't. It's over in the Palm Beach area. Oh. The East Coast of Florida. Oh, okay. So you came over here to Tampa. Yeah. Yeah, great spot for it, huh? Definitely. Well, it's beautiful. I'm sure you're going to sell quite a bit of it. Thank you. Um, I build everything out of wood. It's a wood canvas. I don't use like the regular canvases, so I build oh, everything out of wood. wood. It's like four inch sand by wood, so I do all that first, you know, build all my blanks, I call them. Then I come in here, and a lot of it is just comes off of color. If I'm wanting to go down the color, you know, just get out there and throw it out there. And it just happens. <laughs> you I, you throw know, it? Are you one of those artists that's right? I bring out my magic wand and go, and there it is. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's inspirations. You know, sometimes, like this, I call this series The Hut. And I may be out there. Maybe I like to surf. I grew up surfing and, and playing music and just been around the art all my life. You know, it's that's kind of a self-taught taught artist, I would say. Oh, you are. That's yeah, that's so, the best, that's I think. Of, that so comes I'm, from the soul, from right? Soul, and I'm yeah. still growing with that whole thing. I'm growing <laughs> as an artist and experimenting, and it's all acrylic paint. And, um, you know, I love texture, as you can see in some of the mm. design texture. And, you know, it's just, there's no rhyme or reason. I just started with a blank, and I have some color ideas. I'm like, let me just try this. And then, oh, that didn't work. Let me try it again. You know, that's just how it works. <laughs> yeah. As you see, I'm all over the board. I, I love so, color. So you don't put it out on the, the colors and blend them there. You just put them onto the it, wood, it and then. It as it goes, yes. I mean, like, you know, when you have just, like, the white. And then I'm like, oh, let me try some blue. That didn't work, or that did work. And then I just add to it. It's just, it kind of evolves as I go along. Sure, I have an idea. Sometimes if I want to mix the reds and the orange to get, like, a. A, a, a blend of that orange but you know it just it happens and if it works then i stick with it if not break out that white paint and paint over it again and start over I mean, isn't that the best the <laughs> yeah you know? and then i get a little creative sometimes on the guitars you know i actually have these strings to give you the effect of uh of the actual guitar sure I call this one the golden four so and yeah. why four as opposed to two or you know just something different because I could fit four on here. <laughs> That's, <not laughs> That's true. You know, and then, That's you true. Know, this is probably this is your standard size Telecaster and Gibson guitars as from as far as the length goes. But this one I expanded, you know, it's much larger. Oh, and if you want to see one more, you want to take a walk and look Sure, at sure, absolutely. This one will really uh, set the tone, set the bar high. We call this one Wow, there you go. That, that's a big one. Yes. How long did that take to complete? That took several weeks. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot. A lot of layers of paint. I'd, and I'd say laying it out, you know, just getting the design itself to try and balance the fabulous. The guitar itself. I think that's one of, that was probably the biggest challenge. But once again, I added all the texture. We call it. It's, Do you it's use called, a palette knife and your? Yes, I'm, I'm all about that. And any other tool I can come up with, I don't know. You know, there's a ton of ways to do things, but I'd say a palette knife is one of my favorite uses out there not even just to put the texture on but also to do the paint and all that perfect so anyway fantastic yeah i hope that gave you a little yeah so do you play a little guitar to inspire you, know you before you do? paint i'll go out there and paint <laughs> and i'll go inside and while the paint's drying i'll play a little guitar and jam some music oh, i love it music is probably huge for creating this art you ask me how all that happens a lot of it is um because i'll go in there and turn on some i don't know blues or who knows what some reggae and it just it just fuels the whole process that's the honest truth that fabulous so.
Well, you're doing a wonderful job, and I'm sure you're going to sell a lot today. Like and it. pleasure it's meeting you. All right. All right. Thank you. Hello, I'm Patty. What's your name? Tatiana. Tatiana, yes. you have nice beautiful, you. colorful art here. Thank you so much. Yes, fabulous. Can you describe how you go about the process? Yeah, this mixed media, uh, I just use like a lot of different techniques. Just mix that and like put together, just try all the time, find something new, something interesting. And I have a lot of compliments from my customer. Like they can come each time when I introduce my painting and they so excited it's always something new so it's well, just my goal describe now how do you get this texture like this yeah. the thickness and different yeah you see like it's just uh, a lot uh, different stuff what i mix it in plaster glue like some um, it's glue? acrylic it's mixed it's supposed to be like a bit thick and looks good and it's just uh, metal leaves on top painting acrylic so varnish so it's a lot process what i'm mixing and uh, just so for a nice result of deep like five price. six seven different things going on yes it. yes you see like i use like uh, rocks i use epoxy i use like uh, plaster glue like acrylic varnish metal leaves you know like it's all uh, some glass stuff so it just uh, give you like nice enjoying on your wall it's yes, supposed to be like colorful. nice accents and uh, this is great for florida too the, oh yeah the yeah. sea colors and yeah right yeah nice. so it's just uh, my fantasy about that and uh, you see like that's it's, your fantasy yeah it's just uh, nice because you can't organize yourself it's like something uh, making without you so you just doing and something happened you never can like uh, control that process you, you know you can't plan on this yes, it just evolves. yes it's just <laughs> a call, it's just something happened magic happen in the painting so i try the best i just try like uh keep something way what it's supposed so to be so like but... it's moving it's flowing like yes, a river yes or yes yes i can like organize like uh, central what i want to see but paint when it's dry it's give you like something <laughs> what you can organize yourself yeah. fabulous so nice so, magic stuff like let's say you began here with it then and that has to dry then you'll do the next it's so yes how yes, long would it take to complete this if if you tell me like process 100% it can be a couple weeks because like it's uh, supposed to be each step supposed to be dry and painting and dry and you need to be sure it's dry and painting on top and you need to be sure it's dry and after that put some new stuff it's you be sure it's dry so usually i mix like a painting couples uh, painting one time but uh, it's keeping for a couple weeks like four weeks it can be like making can be a lot yeah uh, a, and then how do you know when you're done because you could probably still keep adding and then you just got to go that's enough <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> uh, yeah it's very difficult stuff you know it's never enough what you what you want you know like it's all in our life happened yeah but i try like i love just, it uh, it's great yeah thank you and i like you could have it on the wall this way yes, it can go like anyway. a lot my painting what you can see it's playful you can use like horizontal or vertical on walls so it's just organize your space how you like it's just depend beautiful in your house it's so clean and bright and yeah very thank you so happy. much yes thank you so much well thank you <laughs> nice for to talking see you. with me appreciate yeah, welcome it. to us <laughs> and sell lots of art today <laughs> yeah okay I will. all right thank, thank you, you so much <laughs>
Okay, Sherry is an artist from Lakeland, Florida, and she combines repurposing of old antique household products and turns them into art treasures. So unique in the fact that she is recycling as well. Her travels throughout the United States, mainly in the Northeast and Texas, she goes to the local flea markets to find these treasures. She is very passionate about that as well and repurposing them to a special piece of art. You know, everyone can recognize some of the pieces she's used. My favorite was the SpaghettiO can. <laughs> As a child, Alfred would sit on the floor of his father's wood shop, surrounded by the hum of saws and the scent of fresh cut timber. There amidst the sawdust that scattered the floor, a spark of creativity took root. With the dust of the workshop beneath his fingertips, Alfred began to craft something so unique, figures, shapes formed from the very remnants of his father's work. Alfred's remarkable talent would eventually take him beyond the confines of the humble wood shop. Today, his stunning works are displayed at the United Nations in New York City, an inspiring reminder of the power of creativity, no matter where it begins. So tell me about your art here. What got you started in this beautiful well, I started out in photography probably 30 years ago, and I was living in Northern Virginia, and I got a job working for the Art League um, downtown, so I was working... In what city? Uh, um, Alexandria, Virginia. Oh, okay, so, right outside of yeah. D.C. Okay, yeah. great, the big city. The big city, <laughs> yeah. But, so they offered me a position as gallery director, and they gave free art lessons, and I thought, you know, I don't think I can paint, but I want to try it. So then I fell in love with painting. So I kind of put the photography aside and started out with watercolor. Actually, the one that lady just bought was one of my first ones. So anyway, so now I've transitioned into mostly acrylics. And acrylics? Large, like more for like here, interior design. Show us how you go about beginning this process here. So these actually, I will start out with a you know, very light background. And um, I, don't, I don't paint like with any you know, um, visual, it's, it comes from up here. So I just very intuitive about my painting. Do and you blend the colors or you just kind of put them on I the blend, canvas? And... I blend, um, just use some, um, just blender solution. You know, you can add it to the paint and um, get the background and then um, take my palette knife and just kind of smoosh it on there. <laughs> Have fun with <laughs> it, yes. It and these actually like here and around here, these are stormy seas is sort of my inspiration for those. So still use the thick palette or the, the palette knife with the thick paint. So, And they're definitely bright in like Florida colors, yes, you know, like yes. the sea and yeah, very Everybody nice. loves blue. So, oh yeah. And then flowers. I always go back to flowers, but this is my newest, I guess my newest series here, which is timeless. Yes, so it sure is. Yeah, that's what that's about. Wow. So how long have you been living in the Tampa area? I've been here five years. I followed my daughter with the grandkids. Oh, okay. So they moved to Davis Island, and then I live on Harbor Island. So and they they just got displaced, but um, that's part of living, you know. Yes, yeah, so. the storm of the century for sure. But I'm, I'm, it's great how the community is pulled together Absolutely. and rebuilt, and here we are, just a short time. You know, it is really. Wonderful. Yeah. People come together, you know. They in do. Time of crisis. So Tampa yeah. is fabulous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I yes. love it. Yeah. Great. Well, Thank I love you. your art too, and I hope you sell lots of art Thank today. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank All you right. So Thank you. Patty, what's Hi there. Your name? I'm Tully Lopez. Tully Lopez. I love your art. Thank you. Yeah. The, so they're all painted on wood with um, mostly acrylics. Okay, great. They're yep. all wood, not regular canvas. Yep. No. Okay, great. Let's go walk around, and you can tell me about some all right, things. Sure. Let's begin with love. So that's Everybody part of, needs more love, right? Yeah, so that's part of my whole um, like look is uh, like whimsical, like happy, um, good vibe kind of stuff. Like this here, do shit you love, love wins. 
And then uh, this is uh, Jose, the giraffe. Aww. Oh, cute. <laughs> You're going to be cute in a baby's room. Yeah. Huh? Nursery. This guy's name is Lamont, and he has no ears because he's heard enough. Okay, how did we go about getting Lamont here on the on the wood? <laughs> um, well, just out of my mind, you see he's throwing up a peace sign. Okay. And he has no ears because he wants peace and quiet. He doesn't want to hear. Yeah. And he doesn't want to listen. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Oh, great. How about this one? This what do guy we got here, there? He's battered but not broken. As you can see, he looks a little like he might be scary, but when you read the message, it's all very positive. Oh, like good. kiss your life. If you don't, just know. as it is today now, so that those moments of happiness you're waiting for don't pass you by. Ah, oh, good. Now he's do not speak. I see he's. Well, the, the reason behind that is like uh, be careful with your words. Because you, once you say them, you can't take them back. Very good. Oh, so, yeah. All right. And then these guys, again, this is part of my bathroom collection. <laughs> if you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the seedy. <laughs> <laughs> and then these guys are all on, like on little wood blocks, too. <laughs> they look like this in the back, all of them. Because bathrooms need art, too. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, Every it's... room. Do you have the laundry room one? No, chance? no laundry room. All right. That's your next. Uh, yeah. You'll have to. Work exactly. on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. How about this one here? This guy also painted on wood. Uh, he's uh, part of my love machine collection. <laughs> he's putting the heart hands. So again, all very positive. Great. And then, so yeah, this is one of my newer pieces. Uh, how long did it take you to do this? Uh, a couple of weeks couple of weeks yep all right well it's got a lot of i can see why it took time and a lot of layers and things yeah for sure all right so yep. what's the most expensive piece you've ever sold uh seven thousand dollars Woo! yeah and it was a llama a llama a little bit bigger than that fabulous yeah so my name is tolly i named it the tolly llama tolly ah <laughs> <laughs> great great yeah. fantastic I love it. It's all colorful, and like you said, it's all got positive messages. Yep. Super. Well, thank you so yeah, much. Thank I appreciate you. it. It was you nice meeting you. Now. Thanks you for stopping well. by. What's your name? My name's Nora. Well, great to meet you. I'm glad Thank you're you. here in Tampa today. Thank you so much. Yes, and where are you from originally? I'm originally from Palestine. Oh, wow, fabulous. <laughs> and what brought you here? Uh, so um, I love art. I love doing art. And I think art is a way to like raise your voice, um, maybe talk about culture, about our differences, about our backgrounds. And that's why. I'm here now. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Thank and how you. long have you been in the States? Uh, for four years now. Four years. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. And do you have an art studio or do you do this at home? I do this at home. Oh, okay. great. Would you like to describe the uh, inspiration behind uh, yes, some of, of these? Yes, of course. So um, most of these images and uh, paintings, uh, I came from um, images to my background and my country, my homeland, uh, Palestine. Uh, the idea about them is to capture the emotions and especially with the events that is like uh, happening now, uh, the sadness, the fear, the um, like, um, I don't know, everything about the people who are uh, living a hardship at the moment. So that's, that's one of the things. And the other, like I have a collection about women and I always say all women are beautiful. So uh, the, despite the differences with the skin color, eyes color, they're old, they're young, they're all beautiful. So these are the things that inspire me in general. And uh, I love talking for women and for children. Uh, you you yes. just captured the emotion and the 
faces and exactly now was this a photograph or was this just something you visualized here i love this just like a street scene this little uh -huh. boy and man walking so this is from the this is the city where my parents came from it's hebron hebron and then arabic called el khalil so uh, this image is uh, like imaginary image from uh, my imaginary but the street is existing there is an image for this street but i added the boy i added the like the man and the corner like everything like i imagined in the image because i i i wanted to show um this um feeling like how how this uh, I, they call it in arabic zukak how streets are very narrow in arabic country with like uh, people like uh, selling things and uh, like there's there's the homes by the way like like the other state upper stairs there there were uh, like homes above the souk where they call it souk so this just to give the feeling about my homeland and the country where i came from and how they look how people look and how they like work and what they do and by the way this bread this kind of bread is really famous in palestine they sell it like in everywhere oh uh, so what, is it like a wheat bread or it's, a... it's wheat bread but it looks like 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 this like something long and i don't find it anywhere just there and it has sesame uh, above and it's really delicious and good <laughs> so that, that that's is just... fantastic thank you so much and i love the boy i love that you even had him crossing his as opposed to just you know sitting there uh -huh. you thought of that that's great thank extra you. detail thank you so much mm. that's maybe because you know boys in like the age of 14 and i imagined this boy in like in his 14 or 15 years old. So you th they think they said that they are old, but they're still uh, Little children. Little boy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, goodness. And how about this? I love this. Is this like an older brother with this little brother? Yes. Yeah. I see that. Oh, don't watch, don't see. Don't see. And, and he's, he's afraid, he's scared, and he doesn't want his brother, his little brother, Aww. to see what is happening. So that's that's it. He's trying to protect his brother. Oh, fabulous. And now you even have the little girl covering her baby dolls. Exactly. Oh. It's the same idea. It's about, let's say, uh, kids are living the, uh, in the war zones. Mm. So children and kids in the war zones are like really, they, we need to shed the light uh, on this subject because they're really struggling. They're still little. They can't live what other adults and bigger uh, people can live. So sometimes if you shout to your kid, I, I'm a mom, if mm -hmm. you shout to your kid, they, they start like maybe covering their doll or toy. They don't want their toys to see this scream or this uh, violence. Mm. So that's what children in the war zones like feeling now. Maybe they're trying to protect themselves and their toys maybe or their little brothers or so. so I think this is the idea behind the, the art choice, just to, to show the feelings of the kids and the children there. Oh, well, you just, you know, it's such a sad situation, but you're, you're bringing a very nice thing here. Thank you so much. Here. Thank this, you. I'm so happy. Colors and, and here, this is like we said, a very young boy, but he's trying to, you know, be a man, but exactly. still feeling that. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy that, that you can't, you can't catch it. I wanted, I wanted this picture to, to, to say this or, or to communicate this message. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm crying, but I'm still a man. I want to be like, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to yes. be strong. Oh. I'm going to handle this. So oh, gosh, thank you. Well, this is beautiful what you do and everyone should see this and, you know, realize thank you so what's much. going on. I'm so happy I'm here. I'm oh, so happy. we're so happy you're here. And thank I'm you so you're, much. You're free and safe here in our country. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank All you right. so much. Hey there, I just wanted to let you know how much I enjoy being part of Mom's Weird Art. It's like Christmas morning every time I go to an art event. I have no idea who I'm going to meet, the beautiful art I'm going to see. It all just comes together. I introduce myself and people are so warm and welcoming and I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy watching these videos as well. And if you do, please like and subscribe. All right, till next time. Bye.